Hey everybody, Average Picker here. Uh, I remember last night when I said I was going to spend today going through those locks and the keys. I didn't do it. <laughs> Go figure. Um, yeah, let's see if we can pick something. Um, oh, Rune Picker. Actually, I could just text you, I guess. Um, I didn't get your message um, until uh, quite late. I guess my phone spent most of the day in the car, apparently. Uh, what do we got? Random pool, uh, sunset. American 1100 here. Let's see what we can get. I am, I can be notoriously bad at these. Um, yeah, let's use, I forget which one this is. It's either the, High reach or the steep hook or something by Sparrows. I've mentioned it before. I love this pick for picking these. Oh, that was quite the pop there. I might have a little too much pressure or too much tension. You know, I know the advice is always on the 1100s, use very little tension, but you can actually get away with uh, more than you think you can. <laughs> out on them it's not a bad it's not bad advice it's What's this? oh there we go what was that second pin I hate gutting these things too I'm just thinking about that now Maybe we won't get it picked. I won't have to gut it. <laughs> I'm lazy when it comes to these little things. I think that's... Uh, luck picking has kind of really pushed me, you know, in a sense, to uh, pay attention and stay on those little details. Do a reset. to sound like something that's getting picked. Is that it? Nope. It's got to be almost there. We got our black false going. What haven't I picked yet? Rotated, but we are drop something in the back. I think so, anyway. Yeah. Feels like it's just hanging on 
just barely with something. No, just not finding what that something is. Nope, there we go. You know, if I felt like taking that box out, I could probably find the uh, sunset key pretty readily. Um, maybe. This 1100 key should stand out pretty good. It's like down in the bottom of the box in one of the folds. No, I see it. Oh, no name on it. Pretty sure this is it. <laughs> Watch this not fit. That's weird. I really felt like um, I had more lift on one than that. Because, I mean, looking at that, you would think you only really have to pick the back of the lock. It almost felt the opposite. There we go. It does work perfectly for us. Uh, we got a little... <clears throat> Adjust the camera here a little bit. Keep you in frame. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Little tiny C clip. All right. Oh no. The wait. Is there a C clip still in there? Yeah, there it is. actually watched this part of the video I will say the other day in our neighborhood we did a uh, soup stroll which I don't really like soup um, so really not my thing but it was quite neat um, and basically what we did was we just put out flyers and said hey here's a day everybody make some soup and put it in some individual cups or have some kind of individual serving method available and stick it out near the curb um, and people can cut now. Why is this? There we go. It definitely is hanging up. It's, um, yeah, and it was really cool. Kind of only expected, um, it was like the spur of the moment thing. Um, kind of only expected maybe three people to do it. We had actually a really good little neighborhood turnout for it, though. Um, it was quite fun and a uh, fun, neat way to meet. A lot of neighbors. Oh, what is going on here? Did something already mess up? Um, yeah, because we had a lot. Of, we've got a lot of new neighbors. Um, don't really know them that well. So yeah, it was quite fun to be able to stroll and see everybody's soups and meet them and a nice little social distance. Uh, you know kind of neighborhood to get together. Which, you know, maybe um, the COVID stuff uh, helped the turnout. You know, maybe everybody is a little cooped up and wanting to get out. Oh my 
goodness. I don't know who did Sunset. This is some, man, I, I already, turning these 1100s into challenge locks, I already think is a bit nuts because, I mean, these are such tiny locks to have to work with. Oh my gosh, whoever did this. This is pretty amazing. You've got some crazy work on these pins. You know, usually you just see a very little bit done to them because there is very little bit <laughs> to grab a hold of and work. I mean, would you have done this in a Dremel? I don't know how. I, don't, yeah, I guess, I mean, I do have some Dremel chucks that would do it. We're having a slight release issue here. Yeah, oh, oh, yes, we did. Okay, I'm pretty sure that one's there. I'm pretty sure that one's there. there um, did you do anything to the core nope everything upstairs is looking fairly tidy I'm gonna double check that I didn't lose a spring is there a spring way down inside there yeah all right, let's flip the camera real quick and take a look at this because this is a uh, pretty good work. <clears throat> okay, I don't really have them very neat and tidy. And you can see some of these are turned around the wrong way. But you all know what you are doing. You know what you're looking at. At least I trust that you do. I don't know which way these go. This guy, big, biggest piece of the head is up there, so I think I'm taking up some light here. Um, gosh, yeah, look at this work. Little spool for pin four. A little spool in three. this thing I mean you're probably never gonna get that deep I don't know maybe I mean if you know that you're gonna be writing serrations possibly because that's what you're used to at 1100 I guess it would be possible to really get in and get lifting and think you're okay but God that's some just great little work there Hate these pins because of how small they are. I'm guess uh, I don't know which way this one might have been in there. I'm pretty sure I had it correct there. You can see though. Maybe you can. Yeah, the spring for one is quite down in there, but it doesn't look like it's been a. Uh, compacted or anything or pressed into and spread by having um, that at the top because if that was at the going into the spring we would probably see see it we'd probably have this stuck in the spring let's not neglect these guys very nice serrations Now that looks like a driver. I mean, a key pin. But it definitely came out of back here. 
It does have me curious though because that is a uh, key pin. And they are about the same height. Sure. If something got flipped. Well, no. That's definitely a. Uh, sorry, I'm causing light issues. Um, yeah, no, that's definitely not coming up high enough. I explain a little bit of the. But that looks like it's. Well, we did have those. Remember, we had the key hang up. And that might explain why the key was hanging up. It is a little rough. Might explain it. Might have to go on a search and see. It is possible something's flipped a little bit in here. That does pretty much fit. And that one really doesn't fit. So, yeah. Everything else looks like it would line up. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, anyway, there we go. There is Sunset. picked and gutted by somebody uh, and again whoever did this man hats off to you that's some great work on some very tiny pins um, I'm curious if you ran those in a Dremel or what probably what you did chuck them up in a Dremel but um, yeah that's some really fine work to do anyway thanks and uh, thanks rune picker for sending it that was a neat one all right everybody have a good one